Hi everyone, Scully here from Blue Coconut Family and welcome back to City Skylines Tutorials. Today we're going to be further looking into our Tours and Park Life DLC. So today we're going to be looking at the parks. Now in the last episode, if you haven't watched that, quickly go back and look at it. We created our tour bus route going from the city all the way over to this lovely little kind of uh, natural area of outstanding beauty. So. We've got this little area, and I feel like it would be a perfect area to place down one of our national parks. Now, where will you find these parks? They are in this Parks and Plaza area. Uh, if you have the Parks DLC, it will be a little uh, picture of a statue of a horse and a guy on, on it. Now, you have multiple um, selections in here once you're in here. And if you have the DLC, the knees for here will be brand new, and these are ones you can place. So you have a city park. Now this one is fairly self-explanatory in terms of it's a park that you would find in the middle of a city that has like bandstands and it's got like you know trampoline parks, benches and things like that that you'd find in the middle of a city. You also have your theme park which is very cool to do and has got loads of rides and things in that and is very nice to do and we'll come back to look at that in a future episode. You also have a zoo. So if zoo, if having uh, animals in your city is something more you know more to your taste then you're able to do that. But the one we're going to be looking at is this nature reserve and this kind of um, area that you might come if you want to have a look at you know, things in a big wide area. And uh, these are the sort of things that you used to go to uh, when you were a kid out in the wilderness. So, once the, once the little kind of little notification bubbles go away, how do you set up your park? Well, for that you need an entrance and you need to be able to gate it off and all sorts of things like that. So, you've got little tabs here to tell you exactly how to do it. So you've got things from park buildings, to large buildings, to small buildings, to uh, net structures, so these are kind of your paths and also your fences. But you've also got props as well. So props are kind of things you can place anywhere around and they really just kind of make the thing, the area pop. So let's have a look at these entrances. So you've got the nature reserve main gate, You've got the small nature reserve main gate and you also have nature reserve side gates and that's it so it's good to have multiple uh, entrances into your nature reserve because what that does is it stops people from getting into your nature reserve for free so this is a paid for thing so we're going to place our main gate somewhere so uh, yeah i forget that this road here that i've placed is not actually one you can plot things alongside so that's not a problem so what we're going to do is we're just going to say that this road here is actually in fact it's just a normal road and here as well so that allows us to go back into here and we can now place our park area here now as you can see once you start placing your area you get this little kind of bubble around it now what that bubble is is that is your uh, district so if we go into district you can see that you've actually got a park area thing here. Now, if you play, if you start drawing, you'll see that actually you create multiple. Now, that's not what we want. We want to expand this one. So, what you do is you click to paint. This one removes, which can also be done by just right-clicking in the paint section. And you want to click it so that this is glowing like that. And then Highland Trail, and then you just paint as if you did district the area where you want your lovely park to be. Now we want our park to stretch all the way across here. Across here. Just going to make it a little bit bigger, just make it speed up a bit. And we're going to have it also come down and engulf this section as well, just so that we know that this whole section is for the Highland Trail. Which is auto named here. You can also rename that by just clicking on it. So here we go, here's our land area. And if you click on the name, as well as renaming it, you also get the indication of how well your reserve is doing or your park is doing. So you can tell you the level here from one to five, and the more you upgrade it, the more things in your park you unlock. Now I have got the bit on this um, game that allows me to unlock everything to, so I can show you what things do. But if you're doing this from scratch and you didn't have that enabled, then uh, certain objects will be locked until you level up your reserve. Um, and you can see here what you have to do to level it up. So total, total visitors is you've got to get to the next level, you've got to get 500. 
and your entertainment to the next level you've got to get to 50 now already at 110 and i'm assuming that's because we've got the uh the leisure items already in our thing we can see that our maintenance is fairly okay but we can do um I'll show you a building in a second that can help with that if it does drop low. We also have the ticket pricing. You also have got the ability to change your policy. So, you know, if you want better animals, um, so the zoo animals receive extra care and activities to keep them happy and entertained. Um, some of these are useful for you, um, some of them are not. So, if you've got night tours, if you've got fireworks, if you've got ban for fireworks. Um, so, some of these are very useful some of them are for other parks some of them are for ones you're building so it's worth looking through those seeing which ones work for you now some of them do cut um kind of profit but have better entertainment values but some of them might boost profit but might cut entertainment values so it's worth looking and kind of judging what is worth for your area now you've built your park what do you do you can't just place your um buildings in here really nearly because you know that just won't work you know if you place a bit over here it says oh it's you know this must be placed on the roadside but you know i don't want my park just going all the way around me outside this is when the path comes in useful so your two types of paths you've got one which is just a nature reserve path and you've got one with decorations now a little blob out the back shows you exactly where this goes so what we're going to do just build a winding path here which just goes up into the mountains going to place our kind of secondary gate over here but we need to upgrade this road here so place the secondary gate already has a main gate so it has to be a side gate yes we know it has a side gate side gate there you go so you're saying that you see so you can even place one uh, main gate but that's fine so this is our side gate from the bottom area and off here you can of course place you know if you want a little path that goes up here not to do that. Be careful not to connect it up to a road because it means that people can get into your reserve for free without going through a gate. Now we've got uh, some paths here. You know, we might have a little bit that goes down across here. Goes okay, up like that. Perfect. Happy days. Once we've got that, we can start placing in some of our attractions. So let's put in some campfire sites. I feel. Now, as long as these are roughly near the path, they're okay. So this one is bad. That one's still bad. There you go. Basically, they've got to be roughly near the path. So if we place that there, you can see that that one's okay. But this one has got to do like that. So we just have a little campfire spots over here. And right-clicking and just moving around like that. Holding right-click and moving allows you to just arrange where the entrance is if that helps uh, let's place down some other campfire sites just around this area just so we know that we keep our campfire sites all in one place so if there's a fire we know roughly where we can send our people and it's not too far away from an entrance now of course we need some tents now i feel like a good little area for tenting it's probably over here Just add some tents into place, and we're just going to just blow these all up. Get some tents. Now we've got two there. What I was moaning that they don't have any things, but that's not a problem. So we're just going to leave those because they're probably just too far away. So tents will probably work. That's fine. So we can place a couple more tents. So you can just go round and fully decorate your path somewhere so you can actually place these directly on the path if you build an area like so That's a couple of these other smaller tents just like that but we've also got these viewing decks as well so these are beautiful ways but you know, slow, just do sleep that's fine we'll place up there so it gives a reason for people to go up to these viewing decks up and across here just like that. Beautiful. Uh, you've also got more permanent tree sites. Uh, is it a camping tree site? Yeah, that's it. There you go. 
but you've got tons of different buildings which you can spend hours absolutely going through and just building up your park seeing exactly how you want to spend it and of course the more things you place in your park the uh, more attractive it will be the more visitors you'll get and uh, the more money you'll get from it so I'm just going to place a couple more items into here uh, so we've got a taller lookout tower so let's place this deep inside the forest right there so I can look out across everything uh, we've got another tent, tent site so let's place right there would be nice uh, we've also got some water features over here so if this was a little bit closer um, actually let's place some these in here so there's cabins, fishing cabins and things like that uh, we've got hunting cabins so if we've got a hunting land let's do a couple of hunting cabins over here and you've got some bouldering so if people are into bouldering place some bouldering sites there and uh, that's like that and let's just quickly connect these all up with some paths with lights on them so we're actually going to have this come around here just like so and we're also going to have the fishing site come up here come around here just to connect these guys Oh, I didn't want that. Just like that, perfect. There you go. So they are now all connected up to fishing sites. Now the water is a bit of a drop, so the fishermen have got to be careful you don't drop their rods. Uh, but that also then, you know, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but they're the buildings. Now we're coming to like the um, uh, the kind of props and things. Now the props you can place anywhere. Uh, and if you've got kind of like, uh, uh, this is a mod I've got installed that allows you to um, kind of place multiple in places um, it, they act very similar to trees and things like that um, but you can just set it quite simply as like a similar you know to other props you literally just find and place them but you got all sorts so you got like canoes and these are floating as well so you can place floating canoes on you got outhouses telescopes you can literally go nuts so let's just create a small little kind of as if we had a little camping area, so we've got a couple of tree, a couple of, you know, a couple of uh, chairs around. Um, you know, maybe we had a picnic bench as well in there. Uh, let's stick in a single tr street light in there just so that they can be lit. A firewood stack, so we have a firewood stack back there. And let's just say that, you know, they had their canoe just waiting up behind them and all things like that so you can really go nuts and you can really see how this sort of thing can really get on and what this has also done is is allowed uh, another reason for people to come around come down this way and get involved with our park so we can see that we're getting tons of people already starting to come in and they just want to get in there and just get lost inside our um, you know highland trail nature reserve so we've got 24 people so far and we've only just finished building it but you can see guys you can spend ages building these things uh, and it's exactly the same for the zoo the city park and also the theme park you can spend hours so i really want to see what you guys do with these do you make them in a beautiful area love to see it if you do make something like this and you want to show it off i'd love to see it pull it onto our facebook facebook page blue coconut family and uh, I might even do a show off a couple if we get a few in on our Facebook page as well. Um, I'd love to see what you guys do with this. So if this has been useful for you guys, hit that like button and check out my other videos. Um, they may be useful for you as well. Um, you know, also hit the subscribe button and please bear in mind that we also do live uh, content over on our Twitch channel. So go follow us at blue coconut underscore family. So I've been Scotty from Blue Coconut Family. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. So long.